okay guys so we are doing our lab i have started the recording which you guys have been asking like debora jesse asia so we are doing this lab guys packet tracer basic lab create the topology in packet tracer this is a practical lab which we are doing in cisco packet tracer cisco packet tracer is an official software by cisco so all our labs are prepared in this way they are giving us we are giving you the lab topology which is this one and then there is a task which we have to perform so the step number 1 the task number 1 was asking create the above topology in the packet tracer so i have taken the switches and computers and i have created this topology let me do it for you because i just started the recording so i'll do it quickly now guys because i just showed you so we click on the switch take the switch in here so this is being recorded for you guys what you were saying so don't worry now okay okay so we take a switch let me give them the same number so we click on the i'll be a little bit quick because i have already shown you let me create create a new file okay here we take a switch then we take four computers computer number 1 then we have computer number 2 computer number 3 and computer number let me delete this extra one so i am following step number 1 guys i i hope you guys can see on left side in our pdf manual what i am going to do then we have to do the cabling click on this auto cable click on the switch and the router switch sorry not router then switch then switch and computer and then switch and the computer so we have created the topology let me change the shape, the shape a little bit so that you will understand that it's almost so isn't it the same topology guys i hope you know now how to create the topology in cisco packet tracer luxon says is there a difference in the cables yes there is a difference in cables there are different types of cables which we studied in our last free lecture about console cable we have this console cable we also have this kind of straight through we have cross cable these are three main types of cable but mainly we use cross and straight between similar devices what we studied last time is cross cable and between different devices we use the straight through cable but what i would suggest at initial level you just choose this automatic cable so it will automatically detect for you that which type of cable do you need so which cable is that guys anyone knows between a switch and a computer this solid cable what is the name anyone knows yes it's a straight through cable josh not cross solid is straight cable because these are two different types of devices switch and computer are different types of devices as well right so we have done our step number 1 now step number 1 was asking us to create the above topology in cisco packet tracer software so we have completed our step number 1 this pdf has been shared with you guys already in the group and also packet tracer software has been shared so i have created the same topology in our packet tracer software our step number 1 is completed so let's do our step number 2 which is to create labels on devices as shown in the topology what are the labels labels are these small things which we need to write manually i just showed you how to do this but let me repeat with you guys there is a quiz at the end there is an online quiz guys don't miss that so please stay connected don't wait for the recording only only recording will not be much useful for you although it is being recorded now since you guys asked so admin will share the recording today for this lab into your group because we can't record the whole session it's like 2 hours and then the recording becomes in gbs nobody is able to download okay so step number 2 write the label so we have to create click here on the label and write the label what is the label it's ip address 10.0.0.1/8 what is slash 8 slash 8 is the subnet mask which we studied last time and then the gateway is 10.10.0.254 this is our gateway i hope you guys know about gateway and ip address and subnet mask otherwise if you guys have missed that one then go to our youtube channel and there is 
the recording of the free session, the free class that we conducted last time about free session on the free classes on the subnetting. So go to network walks and here you can find that free lecture, the two day free lecture on IP subnetting, this one. So I would recommend that everybody must go through this one if you want to proceed in networking or IT because there is no way you guys can succeed in IT help desk or anything if you don't know anything about IP addresses, subnet masks. So this is the recording. Please go through that one. It's free for everyone. I have shared in your group just now. Okay, going back to our lab. So we are creating the labels now. This is the first label. Let me just copy and paste so I can just edit. This is 10.0.0.3. Paste again. So I'm just doing the copy and paste so that I can save up your time. I can see many people have a lot of questions. So I will go through all the questions one by one. Let me just do the lab quickly so that. So this is your homework as well. Today you have to complete this topology and there is a home assignment as well, which you guys have to complete. This is the home assignment link. And this is the quiz link, which you guys have to attempt the quiz. Please attempt the quiz online. So this is the quiz and the quiz goes like this. You have to enter your email address, click on yes, no, yes, no, whatever you think and click on the submit button. And then this is the home assignment, which you have to do from your home today, enter your email address here and complete it today. But don't attempt the quiz now. Please wait. I have shared the link home assignment so that anybody who loses internet connection, he can save this man, save this one and he can attempt as well. So this is your home assignment for today. Please send it before tomorrow so that if you have any questions, you guys can ask tomorrow. Right. Going back to our lab. So we have completed step number two as well, create the labels. So I have created this label. I just copied the information from here because it was given in our PDF requirement as well. So I have copied this label and this label as well. Clear until here or any question from anyone guys? Valentine says, okay. Samuel says, okay. Purubashi says, okay. Ahmed says, okay. Okay, great. It looks like everybody knows. Please save these links. Maybe you will have internet problem and you will lose these links. Admin, please paste these links into the chat window as well. The YouTube link and all the links which I am sharing one by one. Or if any one of you can share into the group, please copy guys, the attendees. Please copy these links into the chat window as well so that others can also take this one. Okay, so step two steps have been done now. The third step, step number one is done. Step number two is done as well. So now there is a third step which says assign the IP addresses to the computers as shown in the topology, which means that we have to assign this IP address which we have written in the form of labels. We have to assign to this computer. This IP and gateway should be assigned to this computer. This one is for computer number four. This is for computer number two and switches don't have IP addresses. So we don't have to do anything tomorrow. We will do another lab or today if we are left with the time. So we will do the next lab, which will be about IP addresses and Mac addresses. So in this lab, we are going to do in detail. So please do today's lab properly so that tomorrow you guys are able to configure IP addresses on routers, on switches, and you are able to find the MAC addresses, IP addresses, everything, because that is going to be more detailed. This one is just a basic one because you are just starting today. So tomorrow we are going to learn more. Please join the same time. Okay, so how to assign the IP addresses? Also guys, there is a solution in this PDF. Each thing which I am doing each step is also there. Step number one, what you have to do. Step number two, what you have to do. Step number three, everything is there. So when you are doing this lab today, please follow this PDF manual, right? And then step number five, we have to assign the IP addresses like this, which means we click on the computer, open it, click on desktop, and click on the IP configuration. 
everything has been told here. So we just have to click on the IP configuration here. I hope you guys are clear. Let's do it. So what is the IP address of computer number one? Anybody knows? Asia says share to the group. Guys, you guys can also copy it. Please don't leave everything to the admin. Admin is doing a lot of things. Anybody out of you, can you please copy these links and keep on pasting into the chat window in WhatsApp group so that it's helpful for the other guys as well. Please help each other guys. Keep on sharing into the WhatsApp groups. Okay, Josh says, Emmanuel, Josh says 10.0.0.1. When Win Snap says Oluva Sagan 01, only Ismail. Uh, Ismail brother, the IP address is this one 10.0.0.1, not 3. Win says already very good. Win Snap, thank you for helping others. So, IP address is 10.0.0.1. This IP I am going to place into the. So, this IP address should be shared into here into this ip address and the gateway should go to the gateway right let me do it quickly so ip address is we have to click on I, DH, uh, static ip because dhcp is automatic just like in our home wi-fi so we'll study in ccna in the dhcp lecture in detail how to go with this dhcp and automatic and wireless lands when we study the full course okay so 10.0.0.1 subnet mask is 255255 255. it means eight bits are one which is 255 and the remainings are all zero out of 32 the gateway is 10.0.0.254 that's all close close go to computer number two click here desktop ip configuration 10.0.0.2 this is the subnet mask and 10.0.0 subnet mask it is picking up automatically i didn't give it because it checks the class of the ip address if it starts with 10 it means it's class a so it gives the class a ip address 10.0.0.254 right close close computer number three Okay, before this one, if I go to how to verify our configuration is correct or incorrect, there is something called ping. So we click on computer number one and we click on command prompt. We can try to ping computer number three. What is the IP of computer number three? Anybody can tell me. If I want to test the connectivity from here to here, I have to type this IP address 10.0.0.3, right? So I opened computer one on my left side and then 10 dot, sorry, ping is a command to test the connectivity 10.0.0.3 so what it says it will say fail anybody knows why is it failing out why is it request timeout anybody can answer this Vince says, can you share the cheat sheet on IP? Okay, Vince, but you have to help me. You have to share into the WhatsApp group for others as well. Is it okay, Vince? I or anyone else, guys, please help each other. IP cheat sheet. Okay, I have shared, brother. These are all the study materials on everything. So this is very good for the IP addresses for subnetting. Okay, so... Deborah says, because PC3 has not been IP address. Very good, yes. Oluva Sagan says, because IP has not been assigned to computer three. Very good, because it's not configured well. User says, happy says, haven't IP address because not the IP is not Godwin. Very good, guys. So it means because this one does not have IP address, we did not configure yet. But if I ping from PC one to two, then yes, we will be because we finished. So let's finish our IP addresses. Let me finish computer number three as well. Desktop IP configuration. Yes, so it's blank. 10.0.0.3 and 10.0.0.254. So we keep the gateway. Same PC4, desktop IP configuration 10.0.0.4. 
54, finished. Now, if I try to ping from PC one to PC number three, will it ping or not? Also back to our tasks. So in the task, it was saying assign the IP addresses. This was our task, task number three. Hajir, it's a little bit more. So we have reached 36. So we will be having 24 more minutes, brother. Deborah says, yes, it will ping. L1 says, it will ping. Happy says, user says. Usama says, yes, it will ping. Kshatriya says, Kishori. Okay. So I sign IP addresses. So we have done. So actually the lab has been completed. Step number one, step number two, step number three all have been done. We created the topology, we did the labels, we assigned the IP addresses. So all these steps have finished. So let's test the connectivity. Let's try to ping from computer number one. You guys are saying it must ping. So let's test whether you are saying correct or not to computer number two. So I will open up computer number one. I click here before it was failing or let's try to ping number two and number three because three was failing before. So let's first try to ping number three. You can see as soon as I am pinging number three, which was failing before, now it is saying successful and there is a reply. So I am pinging from one, two, three, and yes, it is successful. Why? Because before there was wrong configuration or no configuration, now there is configuration. So there is a reply from the other side. So ping is a utility which uses ICMP, to make sure that we have the connectivity to the other side. Also, there is a very good study notes on ICMP on ping as well, this one. So we have ICMP part one and part two, which tells you everything that how does IP addresses work? What is the meaning of code number one? What is the meaning of code number two? So please go through these study notes as well. Let me share into your group. And also there are very good videos which are linked inside this PDF file, this one. So click on play video button. This one, it will play you the video as well on our YouTube channel, which shows you in detailed step that how does this ping work? Let me show you quickly. So you click on this button, this one. Right. And this is trace route and then this is the ping as well. So you click on ICMP ping works and then it brings you to our channel where you can watch this. So it gives you step by, let me turn off the audio. So it gives you step by step that how does ping work when we start from the source and it goes to the destination as well. And then a reply comes back. So in another one, we send it again. So these kind of animations, they are also embedded. All the links are there inside these study materials as well. Let me share these study materials with you guys. But please share into the groups for others as well. Go to command and type ping IP. Yes, that's the one God when you are right. Asia says, so please may you repeat on how to ping. Okay, so if you want to ping, let's say from computer number one, two, three, you just have to mention the destination IP from PC three to PC four. So we have to type this command ping and the destination IP. What is the IP 10.0.0.4? That's all. This is what you have to do. Nothing much. Even on your computer, main computer, you can also ping to the Google 888 or anything. Ismail says, so the switch is plug and play confirm. Yes, Ismail switches usually have auto configured when they come from the factory. Godwin says the command type, yes, yes, which is plug and play, yes. And routers, you have to do the configurations because switches, they have STP spanning tree and all the basic protocols already running. What is to ping, Robert says. Robert, please write your question. Don't worry to ask again, again, no problem. I'm happy to answer. Please ask, what is your question? Ping means you want to test the connectivity from, for example, you want to test that whether this computer and this computer, are they talking to each other? Can they share some files to each other? If I am running Zoom here and I am running Zoom here, can they talk to each other? So to make sure that connectivity, we send a test message, which is called as ping, P-I-N-G, ping. 
So you send a test message to this side. You say, hello, are you alive? And then this other side will reply to you. Yes, I am alive. So it's like a hello protocol. He says, hello, are you alive? The other side says, hello, just like you say to your neighbor in the morning, right? Ping is a way to test. Clear on this one? Robert and everyone. So guys, this was the lab which we have completed. So all three steps have been completed. And yes, the connectivity is also fine. It means our configuration is also 100% correct. This is how you perform each lab. So tomorrow we are going to study the next IP address and MAC address lab. Please do not miss that. And now I will take questions and answers. But before that, please attempt this quiz as well, which I just shared. Admin, please share the quiz link again. Or let me copy if admin is busy. Can somebody paste the quiz link here? Guys, please attempt the quiz so that I can unmute you one by one and I can take your questions. This is the quiz link and this is your home assignment as well. Please attempt the quiz, click on the quiz link. Sorry, it's a video. So click on the quiz link here. This is the home assignment and this is the quiz. So here you have to enter your email address and whatever we studied, just click on the yes, no, yes, no, whatever, and then click on the submit button. It will show you the answers and also you will receive an email in your email address so that you can also check the results. So please go through the quiz and then I can unmute you one by one so we can discuss, you guys can ask the questions and answers. Access to the cheat Emmanuel. So Emmanuel, I just shared brother into your whatever you asked. But all of them, they come actually when we study CCNA, they come with each of the topic. So this was the lab guys, please attempt the quiz.